Welcome to Avanti. In this demo I'll be showing you the sales order stock allocations facility. This provides a very simple way to track the stock allocated to customers based on the sales orders raised. You can then see at a glance not only the stock which you physically have on hand but the stock which is actually available. You can then simply convert your sales orders into invoices to dispatch the allocated stock. By default this facility is switched off and you need to make a setting to start using it. To switch sales order stock allocations on you need to open company preferences from the settings panel on the navigator or from the file menu. In company preferences click the stock option on the left. Under stock allocations you have a checkbox to define if you want to track allocated stock on sales orders. Tick this box to switch the facility on. You also have a checkbox to specify if you want to allow the stock quantities which are available to be exceeded when entering new invoices. If you want to maintain a strict stock control then make sure this box is unticked. Click save and close to save the setting. As this is the first time we've switched on sales order allocations the software will ask us if there's a particular date from when we want to start tracking allocations on sales orders. Any orders before this date will be disregarded when calculating your allocated stock. This is useful if you've got older orders which you don't want to track. If you want to include all existing orders then leave the date box blank and click OK. This will then calculate the starting allocated quantities on your stock items based on existing sales orders. When we now open the stock section we'll see an allocated column which tells us the quantity of stock which is allocated to sales orders for each item. As you can see we have a number of items with sales order allocations based on the initial calculation. We also have a snapshot on the right which tells us which orders the allocated quantity relates to. This enables us to see at a glance which customers each item stock is allocated for. We can click the magnifying glass for any order to show the full details of the order. If we select to edit the item you'll also notice that the allocated and available quantities are shown. We'll enter a new sales order to work through the process. First of all we'll open the sales section and click the new menu and then sales order. We'll select a customer and start adding items to the order. If we use the drop down to select an item you'll also notice that the software gives us the available and in stock quantities so we're aware of the availability of items before adding them to our order. We'll also select to show stock info so we can see our stock levels when we select our items. As you can see this now gives us the allocated quantity and the quantity available. We'll add two items to our order and we'll save it. If we go back to the stock section you can see that the items we added to the order are now allocated and on the right we can see our order added to the outstanding sales order list. Also if we open the customer section we can see that we have a snapshot which shows the items which are allocated to the customer. In the sales section we now need to think about how we're going to complete and invoice the order and dispatch the stock allocated to it. There are two ways we can do this. First of all we can simply select to edit the sales order and change its type from sales order to invoice. We can now simply save this and the software will process the invoice. While very straightforward, this method doesn't retain the original sales order. To keep our original sales order, we need to convert it instead. In the sales section, we highlight the order and click convert. If we're happy with the details, we simply click convert and our invoice is created and our sales order is retained. In the stock section 
we'll see that our items are no longer allocated and the stock level has been reduced. As you've seen, it really is very simple to keep a track of your sales order allocations and to process them through to invoicing and dispatch. Thanks for watching.